The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the toe stop assembly in 3D. So we're in chapter 13 of your book and what we're going to do is we're going to take your 2D drawing that you've already done and we're going to make it into a 3D drawing. So looking in the book, following in the directions, step one says open the 3D, uh, the, I'm sorry, open the toe stop 3D prototype and I've already done that. The prototype you'll notice it's pretty much a blank drawing. It just has an assembly layer or layout. The same assembly layout that you had when you did your toe stop drawing. And it does have a few blocks in here that we're going to need. A 3D washer, a 3D hex nut, and a 3D hex screw. So we're not going to draw everything in 3D, but we are going to draw some of the basic uh, shapes. We're going to do your uh, toe stop base, the cleat, and the cleat pin. The rest of it we've given to you in 3D. So once you've opened this, you're going to say Save As. And you're going to save this as Toe Stop Assembly. 3D is fine. Next thing that we're going to do is use the insert command and we are going to insert your 2D. So when we go here to more options, if I browse, what I can do here when I browse is I'm actually going to insert an entire drawing kind of as a block. Bring this in, say OK, OK, click anywhere to bring it in. And now you can see I've got all of my drawings here. The lines are coming in really thick right now and that's just because I have my line weight option turned on. To turn that off, I don't see it in the list down here, but I'm going to click on these three lines. Click over here until I see line weight. So I can turn that icon on. So now you see it right here show hide line weight. It's on right now. I'm going to turn it off. That way my lines all look the same line weight. Now that I've done this, we're going to put ourselves into uh, the 3D mode and I'm going to turn off the layers that I don't need. So I'm going to come into here. I don't need my center line layer. I don't need my cutting plane. I don't need my dimensions. I don't need my hidden lines and I don't need my hatch or my text. So I'm just going to get my visible line showing here. Now that I've got this, I've got my base here, I've got the cleat pin here, and I've got the cleat right over here. So what I need to do is get myself into the 3D mode. So I'm going to pull this down and set myself into the 3D modeling workspace. If you don't see this pull down right here, the very last little button is an arrow and put a check mark next to workspace and then you'll see that pull down. Another way that you can get to it is in the gear down here. We'll put ourselves into 3D modeling. I'll do it from the pull down. Now that I'm in 3D modeling, I'm going to come over here back into model space and I'm going to do two different things here. I'm going to change my view. It says unsaved view. I'm going to set it into southeast isometric so now I can see these objects the way I need to. And I'm going to set my wire. Instead of being 2D wireframe, I'm going to put it into conceptual. That way as I draw things in 3D, they are um, visible. I like the conceptual visual style. So now that I've got everything set up in this drawing, the next step is to come in here and make it all into 3D. So I'm going to make one separate video for each one of these parts and um, then show you how you can put them all together.